So with Thanksgiving coming up, the questions always come about what do we do with food allergies and Thanksgiving and how do we how do we manage that? Because it's supposed to, it is it's just a fun time to get together with friends and family and we ever it's focused on food. Um, the biggest thing I would say is just to make sure whoever you're going to or whoever you're serving uh, they're aware of of you or your child's food allergies. Make sure that there's maybe no nuts mixed in any of the stuffing uh, by accident. Um, generally, it's challenging if you have milk allergic, especially because that's a lot of gravies. Being milk allergic is challenging most places. But in reality, we just make sure that your, your people with food allergy take awareness and make sure that their friends and family know that they have food allergies um, to avoid those. Um, generally, you can eat, these food allergies are, are not airborne, generally. So you can eat with them, just make sure the foods that you eat do not have the um, things that you may be allergic to. Um, if I give any advice, I'd say enjoy it. Just make sure the houses that you go to, the people preparing know that certain people have food allergies and, and to maybe label them and to use different spoons so you don't mix them up. Uh, but otherwise, and, and if you're ever in doubt or really at any time, but especially Thanksgiving, you're going out to eat, make sure you have the epinephrine injector and some antihistamine with you outside just in case for a bad reaction. Uh, but otherwise, everyone have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy, just be safe, but there's ways you can do it. Uh, with letting everyone know and having the proper medications just in case uh, to have a safe, food allergy-free Thanksgiving. Thanks.